explore Marco Island. One of the best beach towns in all of Florida. We are staying at the Eagle's Nest, which is a Hilton timeshare, but they do offer weekly rentals. Uh, let's go check out the villa right now. Here is our home for the week. Let's go inside and check it out. We walk straight into the kitchen, but before that, since you are here week, you may want to do some laundry. Washer and dryer right as you enter. And then we have the kitchen. It's a full blown kitchen. Dishwasher, oven, stove, microwave, big fridge. It also is fully stocked with um, utensils, plates, cups, bowls, um, mixing bowls, and things to cook with. Yep, anything you're going to need for the week to live here is provided. And don't worry. There is a Publix and a Winn-Dixie right down the road to stock this kitchen full of food. Over here we have the dining room. Have your meals there, play games if you like. We had a maddening game of Uno the other night there. <laughs> On to the family room. They do provide um, like six towels and then they also beach towels as well. So a little love seat, an ottoman with uh, these things pull out for your, as a little foot rest. Thank you. Or little kids can sit and eat there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the demonstration, Nikki. Uh, the sofa here that does pull out for a bed. We are having six people with us, but there's the rest of the living area, family area. Should show you the, let's have a TV right over there. And then that's going to be our room. We'll show you in a second. But Nikki, can we do it? You think you can handle pulling the doors all the way open? I think so. I like this little feature. The sliding glass doors open up all the way. See if she can get it. Can she get it? <laughs> Normally I do that, but you did it. Look at that. Right to the balcony, which of course has a little a lounger there and a table. Have a breakfast, have your OJ out here and look out onto the pool and the beach. Marco Beach. Let's give you a little closer look. See if this, and we have a screen here. This is screened in. There's the pool right down there. There's the patio with the tables and the grill and the pool. The beach and the Gulf of Mexico right there. Look at that. This is a great place to wake up to every day. Or, in our case, seven days. The seven days we're here. We wish it was more. And here is the first bedroom, the smaller of the two. Um, sleeps two. Twin beds in here. And just outside of this room, is a bathroom. Typical bathroom, it has a bath, a shower, toilet, sink, just a small bath. And now a look at the master suite. Access to the balcony. Um, what size bed is this? King size, a full king size bed. Mm -hmm. a TV, chest of drawers, a window to look out to the beach, access to the patio, like I said. Alarm clock, outlets, closets, and this one has a master bath. This one has a stand-up shower, very nice tile work. It has a his and her sink. So this is the master suite with the master bedroom and the master bath. Also, here is a model of the resort. It's not just the tower. They do have these smaller villas closer to the pool and the beach. We are going to head up to the mezzanine deck right now. Show you some things they offer in here. Actually, before we get to the mezzanine, I would like to point out they do have tennis and shuffleboard courts. 
This is the game room. Ping pong. Big screen TV over there. Pool. A little library there with books. Lounging area. Again, big screen TV. We'll head over here and look at the the chess room and racquetball. So here is chess. And I think they have backgammon over there on the floor. And then down here is a racquetball court. And now let's head to the pool. But before we get to the pool, they do have this patio area. Let me give you a closer look. Place to eat, grill food. Different areas like this. Lounging chairs, tables, tables with umbrellas, and a couple different grills for you to grill out and have yourself a cookout. There's the back of the resort. Those balconies face the beach. More lounging areas. A fountain over here and a very pretty gazebo. This is one of two hot tubs. The one and only pool. And here is the other hot tub. And that's it, there's all to show you. <laughs> no, Just there's kidding. more. So now that we've shown you the resort, let's take a quick trip down the boardwalk straight to the beach. Right there, right there. This is said boardwalk, referenced by Nikki. It's just right over there is the beach. Here's a little shower for you to wash up after being at the beach. We are now done with the boardwalk. We are now in the beach sand. wanted to you could just lounge around the beach but we're gonna show you some activities you can book when you're here at the beach mm -hmm. I did mention lounging on the beach didn't I well you we can rent the chairs and umbrellas for us when we were here it was Friday to Friday hundred and fifty dollars for two chairs and one umbrella and for the record this is Marco Beach way down there way down that way they call that tiger tail like I said, this is Marco. And then they call this, way around the corner there, they call that South Beach. Now that's not the famous South Beach that you know from Miami. That's just the southernmost beach here on Mako Island. Along the beach here we have the resorts and then every so often you will run across some of these little huts. These little places is where you can rent different activities and excursions. This one here offers wave runners, 30 minutes for $100, super fun. However, if you're really interested in jet skis or wave runners, instead of just running one by you know 30 minutes or an hour or whatever, mm -hmm. we recommend the Eco Tour. Oh, phenomenal, so great. We do it every year we're here. We do, every single time we are here. And um, this year we actually saw a manatee and a dolphin mm -hmm. jump out of the water. Yes, well the manatee didn't jump out of the water. No, the not the manatee, did. yes. <laughs> But we actually have a full video of that excursion. I'll leave a link to it. Check that out. See everything there is to see about that jet ski wave runner tour. This is the jet ski eco tour we took. Another group heading out right now. Hopefully they're as lucky as us. We saw a manatee, dolphins, and we did see a hammerhead shark. A baby one. Just a baby one. This little hut actually has a little painting our map of Marco Island and the uh, and they call it the 10,000 islands of the Everglades as well Regency water sports just down the way there is a volleyball net for some beach volleyball another beach volleyball net and also here by the Marriott a restaurant right on the beach that's the JW Marriott there's different types of sailing available. Shelling, sunset cruises, dolphin watching, parasailing. We've done that as well here. 
You can also rent kayaks and stand up paddle boards or do what Nikki did. She brought her inflatable sup board. That's right. I sure did. And I've used it almost every day we've been here. It's been fantastic. Great water for it. Super fun. Yes. Yeah. Behind us, of course, is the Gulf of Mexico, which is a great setting for a Florida sunset. Speaking of the evenings, every evening during sunset, the JW Marriott has a fire eater and a fire kind of dance. Yeah. So hopefully we can catch that this evening to show you guys exactly what it looks like, but it's a blast. It's pretty entertaining. It really is. Not as entertaining as my flip-flop dance though. That's right, we may show that at the end. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. stay tuned for that. Yeah, watch all the way till the end. We may slide that in there. <laughs> Plenty of places to eat here on Marco Island. Let's mention just a couple of our favorites. Uh, stuff we do every time we come here. Yes. One is Joey's Pizza, which is an Italian restaurant. Mm -hmm. And then right next to it, what is the place called? Doreen's Cup of Joe. Yes, that's a great place for breakfast and lunch. Mm -hmm. They don't do dinner there, but that's your breakfast place around Marco. Yeah, super point. Um, get there early. Yes, there will be a wait, but that's okay. Mm. You're on vacation, doesn't matter. <laughs> but then you can just explore around, try some other places. But those are two we always go to. Collier Boulevard is the main strip through Marco Island. That's where your resorts are going to be, your shopping, your restaurants. For us, we are now at the closest one as far as where our resort is located. It is also our favorite because it's ice cream shops and great restaurants. And I think it's the only movie theater on the island. Marco Movies is the original and first movie theater here on the island. It has four theaters within it and it's a small dine-in theater so seating is limited make sure you get your tickets early also in this plaza BB's ice cream we come here quite often because it is so close to the resort we stay at restaurants here 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 and here I think we've eaten at all of them oh and across the way pinchers yep we've eaten there too so restaurants here and all down the strip but we really do recommend Joey's, Doreen's, and what's the place on the beach? Quinn's on the beach. Mm -hmm. But there's good places all throughout. Exactly, and there's a lot of nice um, resort wear uh, and even home like stylings, uh, home decor mm -hmm. places in the shopping area as well. Yeah. Really kind of cute. But for now, we're gonna head to our favorite little like swim surf shop. Alvin's Island. There's another one further down the road, but again, this is the one that is closest to our resort. Let's step inside. I'll show you some stuff real fast. T-shirts, swimsuits, swimwear, board shorts, goggles. It's all in here, including the shirts we're wearing now. Now what? Airboats and alligators or museums? Why not both? Do it all. I like the cut of your jib. Time to fly this nest onto airboats and alligators. Take it off.
part two of our excursion, a swamp buggy. And there it is. Permission to board, Captain. Here we are at the Marco Island Museum. Collier County has five museums and this is one of them. They're open um, Tuesday through Saturday, nine to four and admission is free. What are we looking at here, Nikki? So this is the key Marco cat. It's a statue um, of historical artifact that was found in 1896 during an archeological dig here on Marco Island. Let's go inside and check out the joint. Inside this first room, we have some artwork by Jessica Osceola. And this first room is their temporary exhibit. It changes from time to time. The first section has Marco's beginnings. And then we move to the uh, Marco's first permanent residence. The Muspa Indians has a little section and then the Calusa Indians finish up this first exhibit. We have some Muspa pottery from the Calusa side of the exhibit. Pretty cool how they use the shells and sticks to make a cutting edge tool. We are now entering a section that sort of depicts Indian life. Way back in time. The military man and his weaponry. Here's a replica of, I'll call it a saber, that the leader of the tribe would carry, the Calusa tribe. Pretty cool, it has sharp teeth. You'll note that Florida's, probably Florida's most famous Indian tribe, the Seminoles, were not pre-contact. And now into the pioneer era. This exhibit documents some of the historical hurricanes that have come through here from 1870 to 1960, the Pioneer Era. Captain Bill's invention, a clam dredge. What, 1908? Wow. Several different types of bottles that have been excavated as early as 1882, 
but even up to the 60s we can find even here a 7-up uh, bottle and your classic Coca-Cola bottle. And the last room is the modern Marco Gallery. I'm gonna to try to do this. So this is Marco Island 1964, and then here's Marco Island 1972. And this is a cute little setup here, representing like 1964. So I hope you enjoyed our little look into Marco Island. If you're in Florida, give it a chance. And now, maybe, here's a flip-flop dance. <laughs> okay, I need to shout out a few new channel members. Some roadsters, if you will. We have adventurists, Jim and Anita Tyrrell, explorers, Regina and Scott, Travelers, Indiana Diz Fam, and some tourists, Sue Clayton and Nellis310059. Thank you guys so much for becoming roadsters and supporting the channel.